This is a video of my 2012 Spider, Can-Am Spider RT Limited Edition. I thought I'd just make it for posterity because I've got it pretty much the way I want it now with all the additions. And this is the RT 622 trailer that uh, I bought in 2010 to go with my original Spider. Uh, it was black, but I just repainted uh, the new trailer, the old trailer, to match my bike in pearl white. The uh, Spider is uh, pinstriped with blue pinstriping. I don't want to go too overboard on that. Um, I like minimalist stuff. But I think we've added a little to the bike with the pinstriping to make it a bit more distinctive and also to make it mine. Around the bike in spots, there's chrome trim. You'll see chrome trim around the mouth. That's just quarter inch uh, plastic trim that a lot of cars use. And I added uh, that onto the spider as well. The same type of chrome trim is on the fenders. And of course, even though there's a lot of chrome on the uh, limited edition, we've added chrome over here uh, on that uh, vent. We've added chrome around the Baker air wings, just to highlight them a little bit. We've added chrome. These vents here are chromed, and that's a Can-Am accessory as well. And of course, we've got uh, the floorboards are diamond plate floorboards blended in. One of the good things about the floor, well, I'll get back to the floorboards. This is a uh, seat from Ultimate Seat with the gas through seat. The Ultimate is uh, a very, very comfortable seat. It's trimmed in white ostrich, as is the matching uh, backrest. Up front, we've got uh, chrome handlebars. Those are Can-Am pieces. Those are real chrome, not plastic overlay. That's the real thing. The cup holder I manufactured from RAM components. Uh, this piece here is not a RAM component. I bought that at Ace Hardware Store. It's a little longer bolt than the factory to allow you to mount. When I painted the trailer, we pulled the dash panel and I painted the dash panel to match the bike. Over here I replaced the factory gauge with a uh, voltmeter running about 13.75 volts right now. And on the other side, the oil pressure gauge running just under 20 pounds at idle. At full throttle, it runs about 60 pounds. The uh, GPS, of course, comes standard on the limited edition. This hood I had on my 2011 model. I bought it from Robin's Hoods online, um, but I think they're still uh, in business. I mount two things up top here. I'm on a gate. This is for my electric gate opener to my property, and that's for my uh, garage door opener. Both of those are Velcro mounted, and they've withstood the most vibration and also the most torrential rains. On this side with the diamond plate boards, we have the Spider Pops block off plate. I've removed the bottom panel just to let the hot air out. But in addition, these boards take that bottom air coming off of there and direct it straight down onto the road. So this is quite cool uh, for f uh, mounting your foot. Actually, it's cooler back here because there's no heat on it. Um, when I added the boards, I had to modify the brake pedal. There's a one inch aluminum spacer I put under that pedal to raise it up so that when you hit that pedal in a panic stop you're not hitting the floorboard. Once again the pinstriping tends to blend in uh, in an understated wet manner.